June 8, 2024 Memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but, following their own desires and insatiable curiosity, will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myths. But you, be self-possessed in all circumstances. Put up with hardship. Perform the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age. As my strength fails, forsake me not. I will sing of your salvation. But I will always hope and praise you ever more and more. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. O God, I will tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. So will I give you thanks with music on the lyre. For your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing your praises with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. I will sing of your salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple. sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions, and all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth, and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>